Hi, my name is Sam Castles. I'm the Vacancy Convener of First Arts and I just wanted to share a little bit about myself with you so that hopefully you get to know me a little bit and I'll get to know you a little bit hopefully over the ensuing months. It's good to get to know each other as best we can in the time that we can. And so to share a bit about myself, I have been the Minister of Lisnabreen Presbyterian Church for about 19 years. I came to Lisnabreen from the North West where I served as an assistant for about two years under the Reverend Ken Patterson. I'm married to Laura and we have two growing children. Shall I say Joshua, he turned 20 in September and Sarah, God willing, will turn 18 in January. I came to faith in about 1983, aged 18, but I would have to say that the first 10, 11 years of my Christian experience were very difficult. Difficult for all kinds of reasons, but primarily because I was living, you might say, a performance-based Christianity. I was trying to earn God's favour, you might say, and trying to please God in the hope that God would be pleased with me. I tried to be good in all kinds of different ways. But it was only after a couple of real times of brokenness, I would have to say, and especially the second time round, where God really literally brought me to my knees. And it was in a time of real darkness for about three months or so that I really cried out to God and, and really sought him in a way that I'd never sought him before as a Christian. And God really opened my eyes to the gospel in a fresh way as to what the gospel really means and why it is good news. Because it's all about Jesus. It's all about his righteousness and what he has done for us and not primarily what we do for God. And so that became a real revelation to me, I might say. It helped my understanding of Christianity, of course, and it caused me to grow as a Christian uh, exponentially, if I can put it that way. And from that time, I would say that, that God really worked in my life in a way that was transforming, life-changing in incredible ways. He took me to China for a year where I was wondering whether or not God wanted me to be a, minister, a missionary sorry, um, somewhere perhaps in China or in some other part of the world. But he made it clear I was to come back home. And so I did come back home. I pursued my studies uh, through Union Theological College and then was installed and ordained. And so I've really enjoyed my time as a minister, I would have to say. But it's been challenging, of course as any part of any of our lives is, no matter what we do. But I thank God for his grace that has sustained and has kept me. I had before becoming a Christian planned to go to Okinawa to live and to train. I was very heavily into martial arts when I was younger, but I'm more like Hong Kong Fui now. And for those of you of a certain age and ilk, you will understand that cartoon from many years ago. I couldn't beat my way out of a paper bag now if I tried. But that's all because of God's grace, because he brought me to a place of saying I had no strength of my own. I needed his strength, as we all do. So I hope in the months that follow, we'll get to know each other better. Please feel free to ask me anything you want to ask me about my life, about my hopes, my dreams, my failures. I failed many times as a follower of Jesus, but he has never, ever failed me. And I know that many of you will testify to that as well. So I look forward to us getting to know each other and hopefully together growing and encouraging one another to grow in our faith together in this intervening time, we might say, until under God, you get that minister who God will appoint to you. It's good to share these moments together. I trust we'll share many more and the Lord bless you and keep you until we talk again. God bless.